So if you live in Silicon Valley, I'm sure you've heard either a colleague, a neighbor, or received a postcard from a realtor bragging about how they sold their house in like two days and was an all cash offer above asking price. And they're so excited. I mean, doesn't that sound good? Super quick sale, great price. Well, today I'm gonna to talk to you about why I don't think that's such a good idea. So that's what I'm talking about today, stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in helping my sellers fix up their houses and get the highest sale price we can when they sell. And this is a conversation that's come up with my sellers about how quickly they can sell their house. And I really think there's two different scenarios for this, uh, two different kind of homes that I'm talking about. Let's go with scenario number one. Let's say we fixed up your house. It looks fantastic. Everything's updated. It shows like an A plus home and you're excited. You're not looking forward to having to leave the house for all the showings, get the dog out, the kids out and whatnot, but we're all excited because the house looks so great. And let's say we've already talked about pricing. We think the house should sell, go with round numbers for $2 million. I say, let's price it at 1.8 million. And after one of the first showings, I get a call and a realtor wants to write an offer and you say, yeah, and he will just take offers as they come. The first offer comes in at a 2 million 25, no contingencies, 10 day close cash offer. It's going to be super easy. They're also going to give you the seller say 30 days to stay in the house to prepare for your move. And you're thinking, Oh my gosh, how great is that? Day one, we got over what we thought we were going to get. Let's take it and run. Well, what happens if there are some other buyers that were going to come in and fall in love with that house just as much as that first buyer? If I don't advise you to wait, let's wait at least for one full weekend. Let's wait for at least five days to make sure we get a lot of buyers, as many buyers as we can into your house. And then I can set an offer deadline. That first buyer that was coming in just over 2 million quick close, no contingencies can submit. They can just resubmit on the day of the offers, the offer due date. And let's say you get, we get five, well, we don't even need five. Let's just say we get one other buyer that's super excited, just like that first buyer. Now it's my job to get them to compete and negotiate both of them up. Maybe we could walk away with an offer of 2.1, maybe even over. Great terms, quick close, no contingencies. That's when I've done my job to get you the most money. But I'm telling you, there are some realtors that will just take that first offer. It's so great. It's so easy. Let's just turn the page. What do they care? Some people say, oh, but if they get a higher sale price, you get a higher commission. Honestly, people, the difference between a $2 million commission and a 2.1 commission is literally maybe $1,000. That's not, I don't know, that many realtors that care that much about that extra thousand, but some realtors just care about the quick close. They can send out that postcard saying, sold over asking price in two days and they sound so great. Again, I don't think it's a good idea. The other time where sometimes sellers are really excited to just get rid of the house or sell it and they think they're getting a good price is when the house needs a ton of updating. Maybe there's a lot of deferred maintenance. It's all really old cosmetically. Maybe, you know, the plumbing is bad. Maybe the yard is a mess and they're just like, you know, I inherited this property. It's a mess or it's been a rental for years in our family and it's a mess. I don't want to fix it up and let's just see what we can get. Let's just say they think they could get a million dollars for it. And let's say I put it on the market. Most likely we'll get a couple of investors at first. Let's say the first investor comes back. Annie, we're gonna write at a million dollars, all cash, quick close, no contingencies, seven days, your client will have their money. That seller might be like, yeah, that's what we thought we would get. Let's just take it and run, what's the point? Well, I had a, the exact same situation I think it was just in April this year, so six months ago, and it was an inherited property. No one was living in it, and it was in rough shape. It, it really was, and honestly, it wasn't in that great of a neighborhood, uh, but my sellers were like, just Annie, can you call a couple investors, just see what we can do? They were totally comfortable with getting 800,000 for it. So the first investor came along, said they were gonna pay like 725. Second investor saw, I think, he said he was gonna pay 750. And they thought, 
Yeah, you know, it's not exactly what we wanted, but we know the house is in rough shape. Let's just take the 750. And I said, oh no, we don't. This is day two. I waited for the weekend, actually didn't open house and got a handful of investors. I ended up with two investors that were willing to compete. I ended up getting up to 815,000, no contingencies, uh, quick close, super easy for my sellers. And $15,000 when, you know, I was hoping to get 800,000, it's not a ton of money, but what does it matter to me? I'm happy to spend a little bit more time to get that $15,000 for my client, especially they're splitting it two ways. So it's an extra 7,000 for each of them. I would take it. So just be careful about getting anxious and wanting to just get that quick, easy offer. I am telling you, let your house sit for at least five days. I don't care if it's all remodeled or it's the worst. It could be in the middle. Some things are updated, some things not. Give your house the opportunity to find the great, the perfect buyer for that house. Five days, people, five days. And now when you get those realtor postcards, they sold in two days over asking price. Think to yourself, hmm, I wonder if they gave it their all. You know, I've even had some realtors say, but Annie, you know, we got this fantastic offer. I'm like, I don't care what that fantastic offer was in two days. That buyer could wait two more days, three more days to see if another buyer could come in. I mean, it literally just happened to me personally. I was looking at a house to fix and flip. It's in Willow Glen. I just looked at it this past week. It was listed for 1.3 million. My husband and I walked it. We had our uh, contractor go with us. I was willing to go as high as 145, so 1, 1, dollars But we we're gonna start out, I was trying to decide, 139, 14, something around there. Day two of this house being on the market, I call the realtor, when's the offer deadline gonna be, what's going on? And he's like, oh, I accepted an offer this morning. It's like, what? Like, holy cow. I mean, I know that's not unusual, but I was just like, you didn't even, and we had already been emailing back and forth. He had been sending me disclosures. I'd been asking some questions. So I had opened up the communication and he even said they weren't sure if they were gonna set an offer deadline. So I, you know, but he knew I was interested. Anyway, so he ended up telling me the offer they accepted that morning, 1,350,000. I guarantee you, he told his sellers, that's a great offer, 50,000 over the list price, take it and run. And he asked just out of curiosity, what were you gonna pay? And I said, I was gonna pay one four. He just lost his seller $50,000 just from little old me. And who knows, that house could have been fine for a buyer to buy that was just gonna live in it and put some money into it. And they, a buyer will always pay more than an investor. So maybe a buyer would have paid, I don't know, I think a buyer could have easily paid 1.5 and made it their own for $70,000 and fixed a little bit of other things over time. But it was a great house. So I just thought, holy cow, those poor sellers just lost 50,000 just for me. What if he had set that offer deadline? How many offers could he have gotten? Okay. There you go, that's my tip. Do not sell for under five days of opportunity for buyers. Five days is a minimum. You don't necessarily have to set the offer deadline depending on how many buyers are interested, but just give your house the opportunity to get the right buyer who's going to pay the highest sale price. Okay, that's my tip for today. You could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel, like it if you thought I had anything valuable to say. Uh, comment below if there's any topics you are interested in or questions you have and I'd be happy to answer them. So until next time, have a great one.